Hey guys, today we're going to go over the best seven green cards. And the green cards obviously are dominated by one card in particular, but the best seven, let's do it. Number seven, Glistener Elf. Glistener Elf is very good in Popper and it's very good in Modern. It's just a good card in general that uh, you need for the Infect decks. As Infect becomes more and more popular deck, it does seem to be a tier one deck sometimes. Glistener Elf is the card that you want to drop on turn one, and it's the card that makes the deck worth playing. Number six, Corsair of Krufix. So this card sees some play modern, not that much play modern. I don't know if it's going to hold its price, but wow, did it dominate standard. It dominated standard for a long time, and it's still being played in standard. It made green one of the strongest colors in standard, Corsair Crucifix, not a bad card. Number five, this card is kind of interesting. Nature's Claim is being played a lot. Nature's Claims is one of the most played green cards in modern and even legacy. The card is just very good. The difference between one green and a green and a generic for naturalized, huge difference. Uh, you definitely want this card for a tempo play. For life, not that much when you're taking out their best card, maybe at instant speed. So next one, Ancient Sterlings. This one I didn't really want to put at four, but it makes the Tron deck very good. And unfortunately, it doesn't do the delve. It would be broken if five cards went to your graveyard, and then this one would be number six. But the card is just a lot you to tutor for one green extremely powerful ability now the next card number three collected company is brand new I didn't really want to put it here but I see how strong it is it is a very strong card it is being played in modern it has essentially replaced birthing pod of all the decks that it could re be placed in it's being placed in the deck that birthing pod used to be in very good card advantage i mean card advantage in green hard to come by temple advantage in green hard to come by it does both number two noble hierarch noble hierarch not really a mystery here uh, noble hierarch is one of the cards that before it was reprinted it was 80 70 dollars i mean that is it is the mana dork of choice, not just for the infect decks, but for any deck. The exalted mechanism is definitely a huge bonus on a birds of paradise, essentially. Now, number one, Tamagorf. Let me tell you something about Tamagorf. When it first came out, no one expected it to be good. Uh, there were some, you know, indications that planeswalkers weren't really a, wasn't really a card, so its maximal growth, if you will, was limited by that. But even even so. The Tamagorf just, you didn't have as many good grave mechanics as you do now. And Tamagorf feeds off graveyard mechanics to get stuff in the graveyard. And I don't feel like anyone could have predicted Tamagorf would be what it is today because it is a very simple card. I mean, it's one of the most simple cards, but it's also one of the strongest cards. I mean, it has no special abilities. It doesn't have trample. It doesn't have haste. It doesn't have any abilities except it gets bigger. And that itself is kind of why Tamagoyf is the number one uh, creature in green because it just exemplifies what green is good at, which is big creatures for a very efficient mana cost.